uh, nearly all of them, the ones that are there, apart from maybe one, which is uh, Njungun and Dung, all of them have shadow CSS. So they are not even working. So according to me, we should not just question them for their incompetence, we should also question the working environment. And I want to mention, because I'm an economist, I'm a scholar, I don't make rumors here, isn't it? When the when Ambassador Catherine Tai came to the country, isn't it? For the US trade negotiation, isn't it? How comes Moses Korea was not in the meeting? And that's the Minister for Trade. Who was there? Edan Mohammed, isn't it? So who is negotiating the deals? It's not, it's not Moses Korea. And you can go to each and every ministry. Agriculture, there are some work being done by me in civil trade. For example, fertilizer. Who is distributing it? Is it being distributed by, by, by agriculture in Lintuli? No. So there are people, like I told you, the total men behind every CS who control those ministries. And according to me, is a mistake. If I was your president, uh, Simba, I could appoint someone who is competent and allow them to work. And that is the mistake we are doing. You can appoint competent people, and then you put total men behind them, and then you can have parliament, you can castigate them at any time they want, isn't it? They can't work. Because any time you are making a decision, you think, well, how will Chunga look at it? Uh, how will Shole look at it? How will Cherage look at this one? Then you can't work. You should be given space to work. So the work environment in Kenya, Kwanzaa, even if we appoint me now to any CS position, I will not take it. I won't take it because I know very well I will not work. I won't use my head. I'll start looking at what they think, what they could think, how they could react. This is not a work environment, even for you, Simba. Now you are in studio. You are the one anchoring us here. You, we, you are our boss. I'm sure I've not had your boss calling and telling you, now ask Fred O'Gall this question. Now tell him to shut up, tell him to walk out. You can anchor. You are talented, Simba. Let us see your talent come out and blossom. We are not seeing those cabinet CSS blossoming. The same thing to PSS. You are not blossoming because every time in public sector, you spend 80% of your time trying to keep your job yes. mm -hmm. and 20% trying to work. If you make that number to be 50-50, the cabinet will be more effective. If I was president, I can make it 20-80. Whereby you spend only 20% of your time trying to keep your job, 80% working. In fact, most offices, government, people start working from four to five, then they go home. Because between eight and 10 and, and, uh, and, uh, and 4 p.m., they are trying to keep their job. That's why you have to rush for this meeting, you have to show up for that photo, for that selfie, for that statement, and you have to show, look for all the Twitter handles of all the people who are the total men in Ruto government. He then say, now I'm safe, then you work. Because sometimes you might be working and you have been fired on Twitter. Like now, Ababi Namwamba is following the Twitter for Ichungwa, for Shiragei, <laughs> for Sholei, for everybody, and confirming, I'm still in office. Like now, he's not in office mentally. In fact, for now, for me, this guy should go home tomorrow because they are not there mentally. They are in CS position by only a letter and physically. Thank yes, you. Pretty much. So let, let's summarize it like this before we want to break, um, <clears throat> Mr. Mudani. So when you look at the four, 